Hey guys, Jason Gressman here, another episode of the Pipeline 701 Ministries. I uh, wanted to take just a quick minute. Um, the weather outside is lousy, and I've been trying to get ready to uh, go turkey hunting, and uh, in that process, I, I've noticed that uh, with the farmers going around, me trying to get ready in and out of the garage, in and out outside, trying to prep some things, that uh, there are more and more mice showing up. And with the more and more mice, like my wife cannot stand mice out of all things. Like she cannot stand mice. And so with the, really in my life, I've been given just about any and all resources necessary that I would need to be able to take care of the mice in our area. And so that got me thinking about the different traps and stuff. I've trapped a lot of things in my life. Um, I've had a great opportunity with a good friend uh, in Alaska to... Uh, trap a beaver. He was given a permit and I was able to go with him to, to trap beaver. So I got to trap a, a huge beaver. We, we pulled a 67 pound beaver out of the ice and uh, the paddle on that thing, man, was like a tennis racket. It was huge. And so over the day, over the years, I've learned to trap different things. I've trapped um, some coyotes. I've trapped fox and, and uh, I've had the opportunity to to trap uh, people's cats by accident, um, you know I keep I keep live traps around for those that I want to get rid of and, and send on their way, release later. Uh, raccoons, the rest, all of those different things. Um, done some rat traps, which actually do an amazing job if you're looking for uh, meeks, chipmunks, squirrels, that kind of thing. It's a cheap way uh, to be able to do that. But you know your, your common common mouse trap. I was working on trapping a bunch of things and and get them ready to keep the mice out of stuff. Um, another thing we have by the fields, because we have uh, fields that are being farmed around our houses, the dirt gets moved and, and when it's getting tilled up, when it's getting planted and seeded and they're running tool heads over them and spraying in the rest, we get a lot of these little moles running around. And uh, this is a really cool uh, little mole trap that I found. It was clearanced out for like 50 cents, but you set it and it's got these little hooks and you're supposed to be able to put it over the mole traps. And when the mole comes up, they come in and it gets them. And then you can just get rid of them. And, and it was really, it was really funny to me. I have, I think I ended up with like five or ten of them, and I put them out. And, and uh, there's one thing that I have not caught. As a matter of fact, my dog does a better good, a better job of uh, catching moles. But in that, um, pulling all the traps out, getting ready to to eliminate these these mice and the rest in our area before they become a problem, um, got me kind of thinking about this time in life and how people are, are really on edge for things starting to come back. Uh, for instance, this weekend we're, we're coming back slowly to church and, and there are some people that, that aren't happy about that because they feel like we should still be home, which in, in their defense, you know, there are some who are immune compromised. I'm sensitive to all those things and I will still be producing my messages online so they can still watch those from home. But then there's still those that have been upset that we haven't come back sooner. And so it's really a lose-lose situation. There's not really any good place to be able to put ourselves. What we do need to focus in on this time is what is it that God is asking us to do with us? Not with everyone else and not their other decisions. Because what that can become is, is a trap that we get stuck in. And if we're not careful, then we can be sucked in through these traps to start sinning in our life, sinning against the Lord. We could be hurting other people with all these things going on. We can get wrapped up in the politics of it, the conspiracy theories of it, the naiveness of it. It really doesn't matter. We can get stuck on all sides of this and hurt someone no matter which side we happen to be on. So we need to be careful and we need to watch for what is sucking us into a trap into our life. We need to know where our information comes from. We need to know the source that we choose to stand on in our life. So in uh, Exodus 34 verse 12 it says be careful do not make a peace treaty with those who live in the land where you are going they will be a trap to you you know getting all these traps together and and looking at all these things I'm trying to to get a hold of I'm thinking about what to put in these traps to entice these things in we need to be careful in our life and what's enticing us into things. Is it things that are going to be things that we, we feel are going to benefit us, that are going to further a personal agenda, or are we engaging in things that the Lord is asking us to engage in? So think about that for a little while. See what the Lord would have for you. Hope to see you again down the pipeline. Have a great day.